Hey everyone, I'm Samuel from Just Gaming For Fun, and this is 30 Minutes To Impress. A new series where I show you the first 30 minutes of any video game, and when the 30 minutes is up, I will then decide if the game has captured my interest and is worth continue playing or not. Basically, it just means I'd recommend the game if I enjoyed what I played. But it's not just my opinion that matters, your opinion matters as well. I want you to also decide what you thought of the game as well. Just maybe you'll find a new game that you want to play. Now, I know for some people, they give games a couple hours to see if it's worth playing. But not for me though. I'm an old school 90s gamer, and if a game doesn't capture my interest within the first 30 minutes, then I see no need to keep going. I know that's not a whole lot of time, but for me, a game needs to get to the point right away. There's no point dragging out the experience, let's just get to it. So within those first 30 minutes, the game better have fun gameplay, likable characters, an interesting world, or a good story. Now it doesn't need to have all of these traits, but the more it has, so much the better. After the 30 minutes is up, I will share my verdict on how I felt after playing the game. I want to have fun with this series. So I will be playing games from multiple eras. From retro to new, it really doesn't matter because even an old game can be new to someone. But before we start, what is the point of this series? Well, that's actually quite simple. One, to show off said game so people can see what the gameplay is like. Two, to share my opinion of what I thought of it. And three, to have fun. Now, since this is a new series, I probably should start with a recent release on a modern console, but I don't have any recent released games, so I'm just going to play a game on the PS3 that I just recently bought and never played before. I'm going to play Atlas Madness Returns. It's a game I've always wanted to check out, but for some reason it just got away from me. So it's time to rectify that. The version I'm playing is for the PS3, but it can also be played on the Xbox 360 and the PC. So enough chit chat, let's start the countdown and play some Atlas Madness Return. Will it leave me impressed or depressed? Let's find out. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. 
What can I remember other things? I want to forget who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories. I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. What's wrong there? Can't find the door. The loo smells awful. Worse than your room? Ollie pinched me smalls. Where bloomers? Right, still sick in the head. I'm past a cure. Terminal condition. Wasting doctor's time. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? She's an orphan. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Dream, perhaps. Oh, this deed's killing me, babe. Can't come this way, love. Uh, go round. Bastards. Nice side effect. You could build a flat on it. Furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire. Her memory. I 
deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Look like some pigeons, though. She's doing out there a pound or two. I know it's worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, all died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can't kind of remember her name? What I heard. Nurse Witless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs washing. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. I swear, you jump so well. If you leave from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. 
a spongy consistency, but poisonous. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My God, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost, but the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Look how small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there, a vixen in her hidey hole. alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa will take you soon, Alice. Vorpal blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice. Flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. A 
flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. It's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the dish. A girl to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pig parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will.
Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. Finish your suit, girls. Bovine to the girls get their all for it.
Doctor always hated mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. And that is it. Time is up. That was the first 30 minutes of Alice Madness Returns. So I'm going to try to be brief with my thoughts. For starters, I thought the opening presentation was fantastic. The art style and music really helps to build to the tension of the game's world. It almost feels like a horror game in some aspects. I've always been attracted to the darker side of life, so this was just right up my alley. I've never played the original game, so I don't know what exactly happened there, and maybe if I did, the opening would make a little more sense, but regardless, it does catch my interest immediately. I also have to say, I really like the sound direction here. The music is dark and ambient, and the voice acting is surprisingly well done. It's strange how a world can be so dark, drab, depressing, and yet so beautiful at the same time. From what I've seen, Alice Madness Returns pulls this off beautifully. I've never been a fan of Alice in Wonderland in any form of media, from the book to the Disney classic or to that shitty live action version with Johnny Depp. But the concept here is awesome. Taking a dark and sadistic twist on this story and world is just genius. It fits perfectly. That scene in the alleyway where Alice sees those monsters brought back memories to the opening of Silent Hill. I gotta say, graphics are done quite well. I love how stylized they are. I'm a big fan of stylized graphics. I'm so bored of photorealistic. So this was a nice change of pace from modern games. I love the design of Wonderland here. Again, just like the music, it's twisted yet beautiful. From what I played, it looks obvious that Alice Madness Returns is a hack and slash game reminiscent of Devil May Cry, God of War, and Dante's Inferno, etc. The combat and platforming works precisely as it should, but that little knife is lacking punch, so hopefully you can wield other weapons as the game goes on, or at least start to add combos with your attacks. That's a little underwhelming, but it could get better as the game goes on. I do know you can upgrade Alice, I just don't know the full extent to that. I also did get to use that pepper grinder gun, but that felt a bit stiff. That could have felt a lot better. I have to say, I do love the enemy design so far. Very creepy and appropriate. Just knowing that this is the Alice in Wonderland world, I can only imagine how the other monsters would look. I'm actually pretty excited for it. I'm sure it's going to be pretty freaking awesome. Overall, I liked what I played and saw. I'm a huge fan of hack and slashers, so with this gameplay style and the direction of the world, I could definitely see myself playing more of this. Alice Madness Returns hits each box for me. Fun gameplay, likable characters, interesting world, and story. There wasn't really anything here I could say that I disliked, so that's always good. I think Alice gives off a great representation of what the game offers in the first 30 minutes. What did you think of it? Does Alice Madness Returns catch your interest? Let me know in the comments and if you have played and completed the game before, please also share your thoughts down there as well. So that's it for episode 1 of 30 minutes to impress. I personally enjoyed Alice Madness Returns and I'm excited to keep playing to see what the game has to fully offer. With all that being said, please leave your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if that format tickles your fancy, by all means, subscribe. And if there are any modern or retro games you want to see appear on 30 Minutes to Impress, let me know in the comments as well. I'm open to all suggestions. You can also follow me on Twitter if you want to know just what I'm up to or what I'm buying or what I'm just thinking about. So until next time, stay safe out there and keep on gaming gamers.